Bronze 2. Back to Protoss. <laughs> what did someone say? It's, did someone say if I got proxied, I would lose? It's still better than losing to Proxy Rex. If you had just been Proxy Rex three times in a row and lost. Oh, you're talking to someone else about something. Okay, never mind. Oops. I need to unbind that. I hate having mouse wheel as a as it as something that does that. All right, we're against a Protoss player, so let's go ahead and put a gateway at our ramp. Gateway at the ramp. Talking about Cyril? Yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Let's go ahead and get a gateway. Chrono boost my my um, my dudes, my probes. We'll make a gas, and then as soon as I can afford making a second gas without disrupting probe production, I will make a second gas, which is going to be after this next probe is made. So that way I don't have any split second here where a probe pops out without being produced with another probe. Go ahead and make a second pylon. <clears throat> Chrono boost again. Now let's leave 16 probes on the mineral line the whole time. Don't take any off. Just start... New probes go on the gases, basically. And oversaturated probes go on the existing gas. Make a second gate right now. And we'll keep this probe over here for a second. We'll go ahead and keep making probes. And again, this is priority. Don't stop making probes. And we'll make a core. And now we're going to make one more probe. Just one more. And this last probe is going to be the guy who goes around and builds buildings for us for, for the time being. But we're going to leave it three three drones per or three probes per gas and 16 on the mineral line. And just call it a day. For now. And we're going to go build a... Uh, Third pylon, right here. We're not going to build the Nexus yet. We're going to play it safe. Because we're not scouting shit, so we're playing it safe. Can you cheese the GM? I'm not going to cheese the GM. It's fucking dumb. It's pointless to do that. It's not, no one's going to learn anything if I do that. It's basically troll games at that point. You can cheese all day if you want. If you're bronze and you want to cheese, by all means, you have my approval. Go for it. But I'm not going to teach people how to cheese because you're not going to teach you anything. This is micro, and I can't teach people how to micro. I can, be, I can tell you how to micro, but it doesn't mean you can just do it automatically. That, that's the micro's experience. And you'd be much better off learning how to play the game first, properly, before trying to be cheesy. Personal opinion. I am here in the shadows. I get that question so many times when I do this series, is can you just cheese? I don't really want to. It's, it's, no one's gonna learn shit. <laughs> Alright, so now we have a sentry, and we're making stalkers. We're gonna make a robo now. And just to be on the safe side, we're gonna do this. We're gonna start making probes again. And this probe that's running around building stuff, we're gonna take this probe back to our base, and we're gonna build a shield battery in our mineral line, just to be on the safe side. And we're gonna call it good for now. We're gonna start chrono boosting probes again. And with all excess money, when we're not having to build a probe, we're going to build stalkers. Now that our second mineral line is done, we're going to make a second shield battery. This is just, just to, in case this guy goes like oracles or something. We're playing it safe. Now we're making two probes at a time. We'll make an observer first on our robo. And then the next thing we're going to make out of that robo is going to be an immortal. Oh, we're being cannon rushed. Okay. Cool. So let's do this. Attack the newest cannon. Now attack that cannon. We can Guardian Shield it too. Make an immortal. And keep making probes. Let's just back up. Hold, just hold position for Earth. We can actually kill this. Okay, hold position. Keep making probes. Chrono boost my probes. 
It sounds crazy, right? You're like, my holy shit, dude, you're camera rushed. What are you doing? Do I really have a lot of pressure on me right now? I don't care. I just I just killed what was in range of what's actually important. I will eventually kill this, but I might as well wait until I have more to make it easier, my life a little easier. Now, as soon as this immortal's out, we will A-move this these uh, cannons. Now let's aim with it. Let's make another mortal. Then forget about it. It's probably the most micro I've done this whole series so far. Okay, we killed the whole thing. Now we'll make, keep making stalkers, and now that we uh, we have a situation where the Protoss player just did a big- that was kind of an all-in right there. So now that he just did that, let's go ahead and just take our current army and go like this. A click, shift, A click, shift, A click. Because I don't know if he's walled any of these ramps, guys. I have no idea. So we're going to go ahead and just hit the bottom of the ramp, hold shift, it, it'll kill a wall here basically, and then move in if there's no wall. It'll go here, kill a wall if there's here, and then move in if there's no wall. That's what we're doing. Billy, thank you very much for the sub, dude. I appreciate it. Billy! Meow, Billy! Now, we're going to start a, uh, a Twilight Council. A forge. This is what we're, we're supposed to have started this with the Robo Bay, but we're, we're explaining something. And we're going to go uh, gate, gate. And we'll start a third base, too. We'll increase our production a little bit, because now we're going to start saturating a third base. We'll start a third base here, or whatever. Third base and a pylon. We'll make a second observer defensively, just in case somehow I, I, you know, lose my observer that's across the map right now. Because there are DTs with Protoss, and you don't want to die to that. Okay, he went Stargate. Because that actually picked up a real probe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll get charge upgrade again. Making probes. Oh, he's dead. Because he invested into a big attack that failed horribly with cannons, and then he went to Stargates. So, as you can see, when I get to his base, this is, what, again, once again, what it looks like. Yo, Billy, not only did you get the one sub, but you gave two. Two tier twos. Bro, why? Your gifted subs are always so big. Really? <laughs> Thank you, dude. Oh look, he's going DTs! Holy crap! But yeah, sure, like this army's not being micro the best, as you can see. You'd be like, Vibe, if you just take a second and just move in a little bit, you're immortal and the other four stalkers in the back could help. But guys, it's it's pointless. Because if you're GM, yeah, sure, you'll do that. Because you, it, it doesn't actually handicap you when you're macroing. But if you're bronze, I guarantee what you're going to do is you're going to go like this. You're probably going to do this if you're bronze. It just happens. It just happens, okay? Watch. The fight starts at 6 minutes and 7 seconds. You'd probably be staring at this if you're bronze. You'd be like, alright. Probes are running. Okay. Alright, uh, next is dying. Okay, pro uh, probe died. Alright. Um, scout in the main. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. We'll move in. Alright, we're gonna go in. Uh, I'll go ahead and move in here. Like I said, pretend I'm moving in here. Okay, we're gonna start killing the target. Oh, he's got a dark shrine. Alright, let's kill the dark shrine. Uh, move over here. We'll start killing some probes. I guarantee you're not gonna make you're not gonna do any fucking macro. You're gonna be like so fixated, like, oh god, I gotta I gotta make the most out of my army right now. Oh yeah, I gotta make sure I don't do anything wrong here. And your money right now, my money is three hundred. Guaranteed, your money would be like two thousand. Because you're not multitasking. You're gonna be so fixated on trying to win the game with this army. That's the problem with everyone who's low league. They always go, all right, this is my attack. This is going to win the game. And they just try to win the game with it. And they're like, literally, all their attention goes, that's it. That's all I'm doing for the next two minutes is looking at this. Even if it gets down to the point where I'm microing one immortal. And I'm just like, oh, yeah, one immortal. Keep going. Yep, yeah, do it. Shoot that. Shoot this. Kill that pylon. Like, you're going to just try your best to be like, I'm going to micro the shit out of this army and make it work. No. Don't do that. Because guess what happens? If I don't micro this army and I just let it go, I'm not deviating from what's more important, which is making an army that is like twice or triple the size of this army. And if this army somehow doesn't get the job done and it dies, I can have one 
Seriously, that's like three times as big to just do it again. I'm like, cool. I'll just aim with you again with another big boy. What are you going to do about it? That's what happens all the time. Just don't fixate on trying to win the game with every little fight you do. Th that, all I'm doing with that, seriously, is harassing him. I'm not even ready to end the, end the game yet. But if it somehow happens, cool. Then that's great. Then I just won. Then cool. Yo, Billy with another gifted sub as well. There's three of them. Heggy, uh, Jade Dindle, and Feralzer. Guys, all, all of you, welcome. Welcome to the VIP section of the VFAM. You're all tier two subs. Courtesy of the Rivalatus. Billy, fucking love you, dude. Yeah. Just know that if you're a tier two sub from Billy, you're going to have an alarm clock that just says, Hew. 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 That's how you have to wake up. That is the uh, the only requirement in the VFAM. <laughs> Billy, thank you, man. It's fucking awesome. Okay, we got a Terran. So remember what we said about Terran with Protoss? Build your stuff around your your pile, like to where it's like gonna it's gonna mess up the Proto or the the Reaper. Sorry, mess the Reaper up. Build stuff that's gonna like block your gases and connect to your base, so the Reaper can't just run freely around your base all day. This is this is good placement against Terran. Is that the only requirement? Are you trying to tell me I just died myself right here for nothing? For nothing? No. You didn't do it for nothing, dude. You did it because you're a boss. Alright, so once again, you know, we're making gases as soon as we can afford it. If I was up, what's up, Orangutan? Hello. Go ahead and make pylon number two. And we're gonna make a core. We're only doing one bear or one gateway against Terran as an opener. Two gateway opener? That's more of a Protoss thing. Just throwing that out there as well, in case you guys are curious, like why I only have one gate this time. You only need one as a start against Terran. Alright, so now we have 17 probes. We're going to chill on it for a second here. We're going to make a Nexus. We'll make a Stalker. Then we'll make a Warp Gate. And then we will start making probes again. And then we'll make a probe. And we will make a pylon. We'll still make a second gateway, just not like really early, is what I'm kind of. It might sound confusing right now, but I'm trying not oh, to confuse you guys. Yeah. Oh my god, Billy with 10 gifted subs! Holy Billy! Billy! Dude, thank you again! Holy crap, man! That's a lot of subs, dude! Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Billy. For the 10. For the 10. Much love, my dude. That's a lot of subs, man. Welcome, everyone, from the Billy. The Billy Brigade. Oh, yeah. I love my vibe, Billy. I love you too, man. That's fucking a lot of subs, dude. Much appreciated. Holy Billy. Oh, yeah. Alright, Chrono Boosting Probes again. That's the name of the game, boys. Name of the game, Chrono Boosting and Probes. And we're still making Stalkers in the meantime. Oh, yeah. Take another pylon. Now, as soon as our robo is done, uh, and we have minerals to spare, I'm going to start a... Three, th it's three buildings. I'm going to start another gateway. I'm going oh, to start yeah. a Twilight Council, and I'm going to start a uh, Robotics Bay. And we've only we fully spent our Chrono Boost at this point, so our probes is maximized uh, right now. So now we're getting there. We're getting we're getting close to having oh, enough money. Yeah. So like we just said, Robo Bay Council, 
Oh, sorry, it's not a gateway. It's a forge. What am I talking about? It's a forge. It's all it's all upgrade buildings. I said the wrong thing. All upgrade buildings right here. Oh yeah. Now our, we can scout his base with the sentry. Be like, we're gonna click his natural and we'll shift click his main just to see if he's expanded or not. We just want to know: oh, yeah. is this dude expanding? Probably is, but you, you always want to be positive, like be really sure about it. All right, now we can go ahead and start a third base. So he did expand. We don't even have to look at it. Oh, we just know yeah. there's a big expansion on the natural. There's a big one. Billy, thank you again, man. I keep hearing the, oh, yeah. It's still going, dude. Love you, Billy. Okay, so we'll saturate our gas. Now we'll start making Colossus. And we'll also start a weapon upgrade. And then we will also start uh, all our upgrades, basically. Charge, Colossus weapon, beam thing, all that crap. Keep making probes. Chrono and Chrono. Start another pylon over here. So the next upgrade, the Colossus Beam. I can make Zealots, I, uh, or no, I'm not gonna do Zealots yet. And we'll start Charge. So all upgrades are started. And now we're going to uh, start making Stalkers and Colossus again. And now that we're fully, now that we're starting to saturate our third base, Let's start increasing gateway counts. Because we have two right now. Let's go up to four. Let's add some more on. Because the, the, the logic here is, is that my money is going to start ramping up because not only have I just started all my upgrades, which is expensive, but now our, our next base is becoming fully saturated fast. So we have the money to spare to start more upgrades. And look, we have 11 probes out of 16 already on this base. We're already at 58 probes, soon to be 61. So it's looking really good right now. As soon as this forge is done, we'll start uh, the next um, the next forge to go into to double upgrades. Now we can start another nexus. Because we're, our third base is almost done saturating. It's really close. And we're at 64 probes still. So now that our, uh, we, we pretty much have three base saturation now, let's start upgrading our, our chronoing upgrades. And we'll start a second forge now, like I said. Second another pylon. We just don't want a supply block. Upgrade complete. So now we're uh, we're good. We have sort of pylon here. Another Colossus. Another upgrade. And when we get to like 140 supply, that's when we'll start making um Zealots. Start doing, uh, keep doing upgrades, keep, keep doing upgrades. And also when we get to 140 supply, we're gonna have a lot of excess bank. That's also probably when we're gonna start adding in a lot of extra gates. Now, if you notice, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. The build is not exactly the same every game, and it doesn't have to be. It's not a big deal. It's not actually into the world if you do the build a little bit this, a little bit like that. The only thing that is a big deal is making workers the entire time and spending your money. That's it. It's the only thing that actually matters. You don't have to like write this down to be like, oh, it's gonna be uh, 27 supplies, always the same thing. 28 supplies, always the same thing. It should be roughly the same every time. But if you mess something up here and there, it's not the end of the world. You have checkpoints that you kinda wanna hit as fast as you can, and you're good to go. And now we're 140 supply. So now, this is what we do. 140 supply is the next checkpoint. Now we go gate, 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 gate. Add them, like double gate count. And we can also uh, now start going into uh, zealots. Zealot, 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 zealot. Let's make another hallucinated phoenix and we'll just scout all of his outer bases just to see if he has any of these extra bases. That's all we're doing. Another two probes are oversaturated. We can set another base. Doesn't have that base. Doesn't have that base. Upgrade complete. And doesn't have that base. So he's still pretty much probably two bases. Engaging the enemy. Upgrade. 
now. Make some zealots. We're at 180 supply. Let's go ahead and attack him. We're gonna do this. Well, same thing we always do. Attack the bottom. Shift. Attack the bottom. Shift. Attack them into the main area. And then we're done. And now while that's moving out, upgrades. Gates. More gates. We'll, we'll add on like six more gates now. And we'll keep making Colossus. We'll make one more Observer, because we might lose it again. And we might need it for like Banshee or, or Ghost or something. But we'll go ahead and make another Col Colossus after the Observer. Keep Chrono Boosting upgrades. And we'll make uh, some Zealots for now. <coughs> also, remember the gas thing? We're starting to get a lot of gas. So we get Templar Archives. This way we can start adding in Archons to spend our gas. And Archons are going to be really, really powerful, just as additions to the army. Our income, our saturations, this one's looking a little bad. Let's fix it. Third base, looking good. Now, here's something new that we can start adding in. If you, if you, if the game does not end, and you want it, you want to add in something new. You can go like this. When you're at a point where you're feeling really satisfied, you're like really comfortable. Like right now, I just pushed. He's dealing with it. I can be like this. Just add in a little bit of static D every base that I own. That way, if like a Banshee or a drop happens in the meantime, I'm not just gonna like die and be like, oh god, I'm getting killed by a medevac. Now I can make a bunch of Templar and be like, let's make mass Archons. Chrono Boost upgrades. There you go, I just made uh, seven Archons. And if you want to know how I just rapid fired, okay? I'll show you really fast. This is how it just happened, okay? This is, how, this is what just happened. In options. Upgrade complete. You go to hotkeys. You go to global. You go to unit management. And you go to choose ability or AI target. And you bind it. This is your left click, by the way. You can bind a secondary to it, which is a, a key on your keyboard. I bound T to mine, all right? So now, with that being done, it's all you gotta do, it's all you gotta do. I have all my gateways selected, or you can do, you can select warp gates as well. I actually don't use that, you can, but you can as well, it's fine. Select all warp gates. You can pick whatever unit you wanna make. Templar is T, or I'll do Zealot because I don't have enough resources for Templar. And I'll, I'll actually get rid of some of mine so I can give you a better example. I don't want it to mess up. So we'll do Zealots, okay? Now, while I have Zealots be selected, see how it's a big Zealot right here on the, on the key? The little thing here. If I hold shift right now, hold shift, and now I hold T, the second I hit T, it's going to start warping in Zealots, because T is also now left click on the keyboard. It's what it's also activated as. I can just move my mouse around while holding shift and T at the same time. So here we go. Zealots are selected. I hold, I hold shift. Now I'm going to hold T right now. That's how I, that's how I rapid fire warp ends, like that. Which it saves you a lot of time, so you're not just going click, 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 click. Then that's it. Oh, yeah. Yo, Mitlove, thank you very much for the prime. Yo, we just got promoted. This is going faster. Oh, yeah. Bronze one, boys. Yes. We made it, bronze one.